gardens have long been celebrated for their beauty and tranquility, providing a peaceful escape from the hustle and bustle of daily life. From vast landscapes to intimate courtyards, gardens around the world offer a breathtaking array of colors, scents, and textures. Join me as we take a stroll through 15 of the most stunning gardens on the planet. Number 15. The Garden of Cosmic Speculation – Scotland well, I guess we had to start with this garden, as in addition to being the garden with the most intriguing and exciting name on our list, it's also the quirkiest and most unique. The Garden of Cosmic Speculation is a private garden located in Scotland. Designed by American landscape architect Charles Jenks, the garden covers over 30 acres and features a wide range of unique and imaginative designs that explore the intersection of science, art, and nature. One of the most striking features of the garden is the Snail Mound, a spiral-shaped hill that serves as a metaphor for the structure of the universe. The garden also features a series of landforms and sculptures that represent different scientific concepts, such as the DNA Garden, the Fractal Terrace, and the Black Hole. The garden is also home to a variety of plant species, including rare and exotic trees and flowers from around the world. Visitors can explore the various garden areas, including the Woodland Garden, the Water Garden, and the Chinese Hillside Garden. In addition to its scientific themes, the Garden of Cosmic Speculation is also infused with elements of art and culture. The garden features several sculptures and installations that reference historical and cultural figures, such as the Chinese Garden Pavilion and the sculptural bridge inspired by Italian architect Carlo Scarpa. The Garden of Cosmic Speculation – I kinda love saying that – is only open to the public on select days each year, but it's gained a cult following among garden enthusiasts and science enthusiasts alike. It's been featured in several books and documentaries, and it's considered to be one of the most unique and thought-provoking gardens in the world. Number 14. Nung Nooch Tropical Botanical Garden, Thailand Nung Nooch Tropical Botanical Garden is a breathtakingly beautiful garden located in Pattaya, Thailand. The garden covers an area of 600 acres, and it's home to an impressive collection of exotic plants, flowers, and trees from around the world. The garden was established in 1954 as a fruit plantation and was later developed into a botanical garden in 1980 by Pasit and Nunguch Tansacha, who wanted to create a place where people could come and appreciate the natural beauty of Thailand. Visitors to the Nongluch Tropical Botanical Garden can expect to see a stunning array of plant life, including orchids, bromeliads, cacti, and succulents. There's also several themed gardens, such as the European Garden, which features a variety of European flowers and trees, and the French Garden, which has the distinctly French feel with its manicured hedges and fountains. One of the highlights of the garden is the famous Thai Cultural and Elephant Show, where visitors can watch traditional Thai dancers and sea elephants perform tricks. The garden also has several restaurants and cafes where visitors can enjoy a meal or a snack while taking in the scenery. In addition to its natural beauty, this tropical botanical garden also has several attractions, including a dinosaur park, a mini zoo, and a butterfly garden. There's also a large lake in the center of the garden where visitors can rent a paddle boat and explore the surrounding scenery. Number 13. Hidkit Manor Garden, England Hidkit Manor is a world-renowned garden located in the Cotswold region of England. The garden is known for its beautiful design and outstanding plant collection, and it's become a popular destination for garden enthusiasts from around the world. The garden was created in the early 20th century by an American horticulturalist named Major Lawrence Johnston. Johnston was a keen gardener and spent over 40 years developing the garden, which features a series of outdoor rooms designed to create a sense of intimacy and privacy. Each room is unique with its own theme and plant collection. Visitors can explore the various garden rooms, which include Red Borders, the White Garden, the Old Garden, and the Wilderness, among others. Each room is meticulously maintained and features a stunning array of plants, flowers, and shrubs. One of the most striking features of Hidkit Manor Garden is its use of color and texture. The garden is designed to provide interest and beauty throughout the year, with different plants and flowers blooming at different times. Visitors can enjoy vibrant colors in the spring and summer, while the garden takes on a more muted palette in the fall and winter. In addition to its stunning beauty, Hidkit Manor Garden also has a rich history. Major Lawrence Johnston was a collector of plants and seeds from around the world, and his travels are reflected in the garden's diverse plant collection. His legacy is also reflected in the various garden structures and architectural elements scattered throughout the garden, which give it a unique and timeless character. Number 12. Kuchenhof Gardens, the Netherlands Kuchenhof Gardens is one of the most famous flower gardens in the world. It's located in the town of Lies in the Netherlands. It's known for its breathtaking display of tulips, daffodils, hyacinths, and other springtime flowers. 
Gardens were first opened in 1949 as a way to showcase the Netherlands' horticultural industry. Today, Kuchenhof attracts over a million visitors each year, making it one of the most popular tourist attractions in the country. It's spread over 32 hectares and features more than 7 million flowers in bloom. Visitors can wander through the various themed gardens, including the Japanese garden, the English landscape garden, and the historical garden. In addition to the stunning display of flowers, Kuchenhof also hosts a variety of events and activities throughout the season. These include flower shows, music performances, and guided tours. One of the highlights of this experience is the opportunity to see the famous Dutch tulips in bloom. The tulip is one of the most iconic symbols of the Netherlands, and it's been cultivated in the country for over 400 years. Visitors to Kuchenhof can also learn about the history and culture of the Netherlands through interactive exhibits and demonstrations. The gardens are a celebration of Dutch heritage and an important part of the country's tourism industry. Number 11. Jardin Majorel, Morocco Jardin Majorel is a beautiful botanical garden located in the heart of Marrakesh in Morocco. The garden was created by the French painter Jacques Majorel in the early 20th century and is now owned by the fashion designer Yves Saint Laurent. The garden covers an area of almost 12 acres, and it's home to over 300 plant species, including exotic palms, cacti, and succulents. The garden also features a number of tranquil pools and streams, as well as several ornate buildings and structures. One of the most famous buildings in the garden is the bright blue Art Deco Villa, which was designed by Jacques Majorel himself. The villa is now home to a museum showcasing the history and culture of Marrakesh, as well as a small cafe where visitors can relax and enjoy the beautiful surroundings. The garden is also home to a number of beautiful fountains, including the Grand Basin, which is surrounded by a series of terraces and walkways. Visitors can also explore the garden's many winding paths and trails, which lead to hidden alcoves and little peaceful corners. One of the most striking features is its bold use of colors. The garden's filled with vibrant shades of blue, yellow, and green, creating a stunning contrast against the arid desert landscape of Marrakesh. The garden's vivid hues have been a source of inspiration for many artists and designers over the years, including Yves Saint Laurent, who famously incorporated the colors of the Jardin Majorelle into his fashion designs. Number 10. Dubai Miracle Garden, United Arab Emirates Dubai Miracle Garden is a stunning botanical garden located in the heart of Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. The garden covers an area of over 72,000 square meters, and it's home to over 45 million flowers arranged in beautiful and intricate patterns. The garden features a wide range of flora, including a wide variety of colorful blooms, exotic plants, and aromatic herbs. Some of the most popular attractions in the garden include the heart-shaped pathway, the floral clock, and the butterfly garden. Visitors can also take a leisurely stroll through one of the garden's many walkways and trails, which wind around the vibrant floral displays. One of the most impressive features of the Dubai Miracle Garden is the flower-covered structures that dot the landscape. These structures are made from a variety of materials, including metal, wood, and stone, and are adorned with thousands of flowers, creating a stunning display of color and texture. One of the most iconic structures is the garden at the Emirates A380, a life-size replica of an Airbus A380 made entirely out of flowers. The structure is over 80 meters long and features over half a million flowers, arranged in a wide array of colors and patterns. Dubai Miracle Garden also hosts a number of seasonal events throughout the year, including the Dubai Butterfly Garden and the Dubai Miracle Garden Glow, an illuminated display of flowers and light. Number 9. Butchart Gardens, Canada Butchart Gardens is a stunningly beautiful garden located in Brentwood Bay, British Columbia in Canada. It was established in 1904 by Jenny Bouchard, who wanted to transform a barren limestone quarry into a garden that would rival the most beautiful gardens of Europe. Today, Butchard Gardens covers over 22 hectares, and it's home to a wide variety of plants and flowers, including roses, tulips, daffodils, and Japanese maples. It's open to the public year-round and attracts millions of visitors each year. One of the highlights of the garden is the Sunken Garden, which was created in the old quarry. It features a stunning array of colors and textures, including roses, dahlias, and salvias. The garden is surrounded by walls made of the original limestone from the quarry, and visitors can enjoy the view from the elevated lookout point. Another popular feature of Butchart Gardens is the Japanese Garden, which was added in the 1920s. It features a traditional Japanese tea house, a koi pond, and a variety of Japanese plants and trees. Visitors can stroll through the garden's paths and admire the peaceful beauty of this serene area. Butchard Gardens also features a Mediterranean garden, a rose garden, and a variety of other themed gardens, each with its own unique character and charm. The gardens are designed to be enjoyed throughout the year, with seasonal displays of flowers and plants that change with the seasons. Number 8. Villa d'Este, Italy 
Villa d'Este is a magnificent Renaissance villa located in Tivoli, Italy, just a short distance from Rome. The villa was built in the 16th century for Cardinal Ippolito d'Este, son of the infamous Lucrezia Borgia, and it's also known for its beautiful gardens and stunning fountains. The villa itself is a masterpiece of Renaissance architecture, with a facade adorned with intricate frescoes and stucco work. The interior of the villa features magnificent halls decorated with frescoes, tapestries, and works of art by famous Renaissance artists such as Tintoretto and Guarcino. But it's the gardens of Villa d'Este that are truly breathtaking. These gardens cover an area of 80,000 square meters and are arranged over several levels, with a series of terraces and walkways that offer stunning views of the surrounding countryside. Home to over 500 fountains, each one unique and ornate in its own way. One of the most famous being the Fontana del Ovato, which features a central niche surrounded by a series of oval basins, with water cascading down from the top tier into the lower levels. Another famous fountain is the Fountain of the Dragons, which features four dragons spitting water into a central basin. This fountain is said to represent the four major rivers of the world. Other notable features of the garden include the Avenue of the Hundred Fountains, which is lined with a series of small fountains and water features, and the Water Organ Fountain, which uses a series of pipes to create a unique musical fountain display. Today, Villa d'Este is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and remains one of Italy's most popular tourist attractions. Its stunning gardens and fountains continue to inspire visitors from all over the world, offering a glimpse into the magnificence of Renaissance Italy. Number 7. Gardens by the Bay, Singapore Gardens by the Bay is a nature park located in the heart of Singapore's downtown core. Covering an area of 101 hectares, the park is home to a variety of exotic plants and flowers, as well as several impressive architectural features that make it a must-see destination for visitors to Singapore. One of the most striking features of the Gardens by the Bay is the Super Tree Grove, a collection of towering artificial trees that range in height from 25 to 50 meters. These trees are covered in thousands of plants and flowers and are designed to serve as a vertical garden that provides shade and support for the park's ecosystem. Another highlight of the Gardens by the Bay is the Flower Dome, a massive glass conservatory that houses a collection of rare and exotic plants from around the world. The dome is divided into several different themed gardens, each showcasing plants and flowers from different regions of the world. The Cloud Forest is another must-see attraction at Gardens by the Bay. This indoor waterfall and rainforest features a 35-meter tall mountain covered in mist and fog, creating a stunning and otherworldly atmosphere. Visitors can explore the mountain and its surrounding gardens, learning about the different plants and animals that call the Cloud Forest home. In addition to these attractions, Garden by the Bay also features several outdoor gardens, including the Heritage Garden, the World of Plants, and the Dragonfly Lake. Number 6. The Desert Botanical Garden, United States The Desert Botanical Garden in Phoenix, Arizona in the U.S. is a unique attraction that showcases the beauty and diversity of desert plants. Spanning over 140 acres, the garden's home to over 50,000 plants, including rare and endangered species. Visitors can explore the garden's five themed trails, each offering a different perspective on the desert environment. One of the highlights of the Desert Botanical Garden is its collection of cacti and succulents. This garden boasts one of the largest collections of desert plants in the world, with over 4,000 species represented here. Visitors can see the towering saguaro cacti, delicate agave plants, and colorful blooms from prickly pear cacti. The garden also features a collection of rare and endangered cacti, many of which are not found anywhere else in the world. And in addition to its impressive plant collections, the Desert Botanical Garden is also known for its stunning natural setting. The garden is situated at the foot of the Papago Buttes, and visitors can take in breathtaking views of the rugged desert landscape. This garden also features several outdoor art installations too, with the popular Wind Water Earth exhibit, which showcases the interplay between nature and human creativity. The garden also offers a variety of educational programs and events for visitors of all ages. Guided tours and workshops provide opportunities for visitors to learn more about desert plants and their importance in the environment, and also hosts a variety of cultural events too throughout the year, including the popular Las Noches de las Luminarias, a holiday tradition featuring thousands of luminarias lining the garden's paths. Overall, the Desert Botanical Garden is a must-see attraction for anyone visiting Phoenix. Its impressive plant collection, stunning natural setting, and engaging educational programs make it a unique and memorable experience for visitors of all ages. Whether you're a plant enthusiast, a nature lover, or simply looking for a unique and beautiful place to explore, the Desert Botanical Garden is definitely worth a visit. I mean, it is in a desert, and it's a garden. I mean, what more do you need? For that alone, it definitely deserves a spot on this list. Number 5. The Royal Palace of La Granja de San Ildefonso, Spain 
this royal palace is a beautiful palace located in the town of San Ildefonso, Segovia, in Spain. It was built during the 18th century as a summer palace for King Philip V of Spain, and it boasts stunning gardens that are considered one of the finest examples of European Baroque garden design. The palace was designed by the Italian architect Filippo Juvara, who was commissioned by King Philip V to create a royal palace in the style of Versailles. The palace is a magnificent example of Baroque architecture, with its grand entrance, elaborate stucco work, and beautifully painted ceilings. The palace also houses an impressive collection of tapestries, paintings, and sculptures from the 16th to the 18th centuries. However, it's the gardens that truly set this place apart. The gardens cover an area of 146 hectares and were designed by French landscape architect René Collier. They feature an impressive array of fountains, waterfalls, and ornamental ponds, all set amid meticulously manicured lawns, hedges, and flower beds. One of the most impressive features of the gardens is the Fountain of the Dragons, which is located at the entrance to the palace. This fountain is adorned with four bronze dragons, and it's said to have been inspired by the Fountain of Apollo in the Palace of Versailles. Another notable feature of the gardens is the Parterre, which is a formal garden made up of 13 ornamental flower beds. It's surrounded by a series of fountains and statues, and it's designed to be viewed from above, giving visitors a unique perspective on the intricate patterns and designs. Number 4. Botanical Garden of Curitiba, Brazil The Botanical Garden of Curitiba, located in the Brazilian city of Curitiba, is one of the most visited tourist attractions in the city. The garden covers a total area of 278,000 square meters, which includes a greenhouse, a museum, and numerous gardens and fountains. The garden was designed by Jaime Lerner, an architect and urban planner who served as the mayor of Curitiba three times. The garden was inaugurated in 1991 and has since become a symbol of the city's commitment to preserving its natural environment. The centerpiece of the garden is the Botanical Museum, of course, which is housed in a striking glass and metal structure. This museum features a collection of botanical specimens, as well as exhibits on the history of the garden and the flora of the region. The garden is also home to a number of specialized gardens, including the French Garden, the Japanese Garden, and the Sensory Garden. The Japanese Garden is designed in the traditional Japanese style, with a large koi pond, a tea house, and bamboo grove. The Sensory Garden, as the name would suggest, is designed to engage all the senses, with plants selected for their scent, texture, and color. One of the most popular attractions here in the garden is the greenhouse, which houses over 50,000 specimens of tropical plants. This greenhouse is designed in the shape of a transparent tube and is divided into three sections. The first features plants from the Atlantic forests, the second features plants from the Amazon rainforest, and the third features plants from other tropical regions. Number 3. Claude Monet's Garden, France Claude Monet's garden, located in Giverny, France, is a masterpiece of landscape design that served as the inspiration for many of Monet's most famous paintings. Monet lived in his home here for over 40 years and spent much of his time tending to his garden, which served as both a source of inspiration and space for relaxation. He carefully selected each plant and flower for its color, texture, and ability to thrive in the French climate, creating a garden that was both beautiful and functional. The garden covers an area of about two and a half acres and features a range of vibrant colors, serene ponds, and winding pathways that create a sense of natural beauty and tranquility. The Croix Normand is a colorful array of flower beds that bloom with a variety of annuals and perennials throughout the year. The flower beds are arranged in a symmetrical pattern, with rows of vibrant colors and textures that create a sense of order and balance. The water garden, located on the other side of the road, features a tranquil pond surrounded by weeping willows, bamboo, and other lush vegetation. The pond is home to a variety of aquatic plants too, including water lilies that create a serene and peaceful atmosphere. The Japanese bridge, which Monet famously painted in his Water Lily series, spans the pond and offers a stunning view of the garden, and it's said that Monet was inspired by the natural beauty of the area, particularly the play of light and shadow on the water, which he captured in many of his famous paintings. In addition to its natural beauty, this water garden is also home to a variety of sculptures and artworks. Today, the water garden is a popular tourist destination and a source of inspiration for artists, photographers, and garden enthusiasts alike. It's also been featured in countless paintings, photographs, and films, and it's widely regarded as one of the most beautiful gardens in the world. Visitors can also explore Monet's former home and studio, located adjacent to the water garden. The house has been preserved as a museum and offers a glimpse into Monet's life and work, including many of his famous paintings of the water garden itself. Number 2. Kew Gardens, England 
Kew Gardens, also known as the Royal Botanic Gardens, is a world-famous botanic garden located in southwest London in England. The garden was established in 1759 and is now home to over 50,000 living plants, making it one of the most diverse collections of plants in the world. Kew Gardens covers an area of 300 acres and is divided into several distinct areas. The Palm House, which was built in the mid-19th century, is a Victorian-era glass house that's home to a variety of tropical plants, including palm trees and exotic orchids. The Temperate House, which is the largest surviving Victorian glass house in the world, houses plants from regions with temperate climates, such as South Africa and South America. Another highlight of Kew Gardens is the Princess of Wales Conservatory, which features 10 different climatic zones, each with its own unique collection of plants. Visitors can explore the desert, tropical rainforest, and aquatic habitats all in one location. The gardens also have a variety of outdoor spaces, including the Water Lily House, which is home to the giant Amazonian water lily, and the Davies Alpine House, which houses a collection of alpine plants from around the world. Visitors can also explore the Arboretum, which contains over 14,000 trees, as well as the Japanese Garden, the Rose Garden, and the Pagoda, a striking 10-story tower that offers panoramic views of the gardens. Kew Gardens is not only a beautiful attraction, but it also plays an important role in scientific research and conservation. The gardens have an extensive collection of plant specimens that are used for research purposes, and they also have a seed bank that preserves the genetic diversity of plants from around the world. Number 1. Versailles Gardens, France Yes, it had to be this one. I mean, who hasn't heard of the Versailles Gardens? Located in the town of Versailles in France, some of the most iconic and beautiful gardens in the world. They were originally designed by André Le Nôtre in the 17th century for King Louis XIV and have since become a symbol of French elegance and grandeur. Covering over 800 hectares and home to numerous fountains, sculptures, and stunningly manicured lawns, visitors can wander through the many paths and trails that wind through the gardens, admiring the impressive architecture and natural beauty. One of the most notable features of the Versailles Gardens is the Grand Canal, which stretches for over one and a half kilometers and is lined with beautiful trees and ornamental sculptures. Visitors can take a boat tour along the canal or simply enjoy a leisurely stroll along its banks. Another highlight of the gardens is the Orangery, which houses over a thousand trees and is one of the largest in Europe. The Orangery is open to the public and offers visitors the opportunity to learn about the history and cultivation of citrus fruits. The gardens also feature a number of fountains, including the impressive Apollo Fountain, which features a statue of the god Apollo riding his chariot. The Neptune Fountain, which depicts the god of the sea surrounded by sea creatures, is another popular attraction. The Versailles Gardens are a true testament to the art of landscaping and garden design, offering visitors a glimpse into the grandeur and opulence of the French court during the 17th and 18th centuries. They are a must-see destination for anyone interested in history, architecture, or horticulture. If you've got green fingers, then you should certainly use them to tick this place off your garden-based bucket list. I'll see you next time. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos. The Top 5 Show has launched channel memberships. Thank you to our channel members.